It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. I am not necessarily against the concept of showing gay people in children's cartoons. I remember there was like some sort of controversy a long time ago about how basically the show Author had like some sort of, you know, gay couple during a wedding. And of course, many people were really upset about that aspect of that whole entire episode. However, to me, it didn't make any sense why there was so much controversy over that scene. Because basically, of course, gay people are real. And people who are kids live with gay people, whether they're two women or two men. And so to me, showing off gay characters in a kid's show is not necessarily a bad thing. However, when I found this clip on Twitter, I was very uncomfortable with it. And the main reason why I felt that way was because the whole entire clip that I saw featured a drag queen. Now, the clip comes directly from the show Blue's Clues. Now, when I was younger, I remember watching Blue's Clues for educational purposes. And so, it's been like a long time since I heard the name Blue's Clues before. That said, in the clip, we had like a drag queen. And of course, the drag queen was just introducing like the various LGBT families within like the whole parade. Now, again, I'm not against the idea of showcasing gay, you know, characters in a kiss show. But to me, it's a step far when you show a person who's a drag queen with a kiss show. Because, honestly, I've seen like shows such as like uh, RuPaul and these other kind of people, and drag queens are very much sexual by nature. And so, when I see this kind of stuff in front of kids, like if they're showing drag queens in front of kids, that to me sounds like a bit of like grooming, if you were to ask me. Because to me, like, obviously of course when people get older, they can learn about different things in life as they experience this. I understand that. I also understand that basically of course kids will with gay parents. I also understand that. However, to sit here and actually have some sort of drag queen and a kid show, I'm sorry. Drag queens are too are known for being sexual. They make these sort of sexual references all like how can you possibly tell me that having a drag queen and a TV show meant for kids is a good thing? I just don't understand that. First and foremost, I want to say that obviously not all drag queens are groomers. But I can't help but to think that there has been so many stories between drag queens and grooming. For example, I remember reading at one point that a judge was basically arrested for child pornography. And guess what? He was actually funding the Drag Queen story time, which, by the way, was done in front of little children. So, yeah, the Drag Queens were being funded by some sort of caught pedophile who was charged on child pornography. There is also these sort of stories I remember hearing about, about this little boy who wanted to, not really wanted, but was forced to be a drag queen. Now, can you imagine the amount of predators who probably went towards that drag queen boy at that young of an age and have some sort of creepy, predatory comments? I'm telling you guys, if you expose, like, you know, little kids to that kind of stuff, that can lead to grooming. That can actually lead to such kind of nonsense like that. So when I sit here and watch that clip of that drag queen being presented in front of kids as if nothing, of course, is bad, I'm sorry. 
Exposing kids to drag queens is not okay. It is not okay to show kids that kind of stuff. Of course, when they get older, of course, it's perfectly fine. But like at that young of an age, at like three, four, five, six, Joe, it would be so weird. Like, why would you have to have a conversation to a little kid about what is a drag queen? Why should we talk about this sort of stuff? And also, do you honestly think that kids are at a maturity level where they can talk about stuff like sexuality? Like, of course, people who are teenagers are crummy too, but they have a high level of maturity to talk about this sort of stuff about sexuality and gender than some sort of freaking little kid who just want to play in the dirt. But hey, but what do you guys think about this sort of story? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.